Hey everybody, so I thought I'd try out a little bit of a language journal today, sharing with you some of the things that I've recently learned um, and see what you think about it. So somewhat recently I've worked on trying to separate a few words uh, that I had encountered that to me the meaning was the same. Well, obviously there was some difference, so I did a bit of research and I wanted to share that with you. Um, these words all center around the idea of to stand something up. And they seem, when you look in the dictionary, they have a very similar definition. But when you look closely, there's um, subtle differences. So again, I wanted to share that today. So first of all, there's the word tang. Tang. That's T-X-H-E-E-M. Um, and it is to stand something up. But more specifically, it is to buttress something. Or take something that perhaps was going to fall or is likely to fall and to reinforce it. For example, to put a stick uh, or poles on a wall so that it doesn't fall down. And that is what tang means. So another word is tang, tang, and that's T-E-E-B. And that word means to set up. Um, and it's more specifically conveys the idea of to set things in place like you were setting up a table or you're setting up some sort of, um, you're putting together some sort of equipment so that in the end it's all a finished piece. Uh, perhaps you're putting together a table to look really nice if you were to focus on the fact that you were putting it together, that you were setting it up. That would be thing. And we could compare that to the word tsal, tsal, T-X-A-W-B. That means to place something on something else. For example, you place a bottle on top of a table. Now, you could get that confused with thing, the word we just talked about, but zao is literally, it's very um, broad. It just means to put something on top of something else. Um, another word is cha, cha, and that is to stand up. So, whereas tang, to buttress something, is to take something that might fall and um, reinforce it, cha is to say something that was um, horizontal and bring it up vertical. Usually from what I heard it, it means you're referring to something that had fallen. It doesn't have to be that way, but a lot of people think of it that way. It's something fell over and you have to cha, you have to cha nishal or cha koninji. So that's how you use the word cha. And then finally, another way of standing something up is te. A T I B, and that is to stack something one on top of the other, like that. Okay, so those are some of the words. Um, they have a very similar meaning, but when you look closely, they they have a subtle difference. Uh, I learned them, so I thought I would share them with you. Let me know what you think.